Yeah. You know better. You ain't supposed to be over here. <laughs> She know that edge yet. <laughs> she got close to that edge. <laughs> I'm stuck. Oh man, I wanna record this. <laughs> Put this on video. <laughs> uh, so last night I was playing pool. And you see these Timberlands right here? I done had these shoes for a long time. I, don't, I got so many shoes, I bought them a long, long time ago. I don't even know when. Years, they probably over 10 years old, these shoes. You see all these marks on them, right? That's super glue. Because as you can see, compared to this one, the, the bottom rubber part sole came off. <laughs> and it was flapping, so I went and pulled it off. And I found out the bottom part of that was just super slick. Oh, it's not fair now. So I had to get some super glue. This guy gave me some super glue and he put it on for me. He dirtied his hands up and everything. And I guess that super glue on the top is what was on his hands. He was trying to mush it back together. And he did it all for me. While well, I sat up there barefoot, one foot barefoot and shot pool. He did it all for me. I owe him so bad. And that's the end of these shoes because <laughs> this super glue ain't going to really hold. As you can see, I'm just put it apart with my finger. The whole thing came off in this night, man. My foot, my one foot that I kept with the shoe on, it got so bad, I just decided to go ahead and take both shoes off because I didn't want to wear it while the super glue was trying to dry. My foot was coming. Look, this one's about to come off. I can pull this off my hand. I'm getting rid of these, so that's why I'm just showing you. This bottom part is so slick, and I was on the bike. I was wearing my bike suit, so I was like, man, if I step down on the ground like that, it might slip and fall. I was like, bump that. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to get rid of these shoes. I like these shoes. Let's pull down. I took them to a shoe shop before we hand them all. To see if they could um some other shoes I had before they had the same thing happen. But you said um since they Timberlands always the rubber become big and they don't match the size of the shoe no more, so you can't fix that. So you gotta send them back to the Timberland shop to fix that. And it's like man, that's just I don't know I don't know about doing nothing like that, so I'm just getting rid of them. I got rid of so many Timberlands I had. These are the fold downs with some kind of landscape design on the back. You always bought them, no wonder they were. Better look folded. And then I said he looks straight up. I always keep the shoe strings though, so I'm going to take the shoe strings out of here. Get rid of these. Look at some more food down there, guys. These kind of tighter. Hmm, hmm. See, the, the rubber's still low right now. It ain't really coming off yet. It'll be this part right here. It ain't coming off yet. It, it, I, can, if, I feel like I can pull it down. There's a little play in there. I'll try to keep them as long as possible. I bet you all my timbers like that because I pretty much bought all my timberlands around the same time. And they lasted long. I ain't working them just for design. But these ones done. One down. A couple more to go. Look at this little one. I was trying to record her walking. She done got some keys and she's trying to run away. Kick on me, key. I see you got them keys. Come here. Huh? Mm? Give me that. Mm-mm. Diaper change time, too. Give me that, young. You pull the guy. Huh? Go walk away. Walk away. What's your better way? 
Don't take my clothes either. Don't do it. Don't do it. That's right. Walk to the room. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still look at you walking. I'm trying to get people go walking. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Get inside. Get inside. Get inside. Get inside. Peace.